All right, guys, so I just spended some of my points on hitting and striking out and, and, and the home run stat as well. So that's pretty much all I spent my training points on. But anyways, all right, let's go ahead and start showcase game two here. So I'll turn the volume back up here when the music turns off. All right, okay. Here we go. Baseball here on the show. Here we go. The game for each team is in the books and Let's do it. Game two. two. And we've got a good matchup ahead between the prospects from the central region and the prospects representing. Okay, the Nick Murdoff. Settling in now. Nick Let's see what you got. He will lead this one off today. And we are underway this afternoon as the first pitch is over for a called strike one. Oh and one. Here it comes. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Yeah, nice play. Boom, yo, out, son. Yeah, yeah. Eat it. There we go. Oh. Oh, ball straightens him up a bit. Held up. One and Darn two it. Now. All right. There we go. Boom. Get that boy. Yeah, and that's a great job of keeping him off balance right there. He sits him down with a very nice off speed pitch, and that has to impress the scouts in the stands. Boom. Hurlers depend on spotting their fastballs. But he's showing right there that he has an effective off-speed repertoire as well. Oh, oh, he whacked that. And not enough. And that will end the inning. Into the box now, Billy Russell. Come on, Billy. Here to begin the second. Oh. Well, you've been given a three nothing lead. The last thing you want to do is have base runners on and then Darn it. a big ball, and that three runs means nothing to you. So pitch around the corners, make them chase the ball, but do not walk people. Oh. Oh. God darn it. Well, that sucks. Never really happy to give up a long ball, but at least it's a solo shot. Most pitchers can overcome a solo home run, but he's got to make sure he stops the bleeding. Well, that sucks. It's about damage control at this point. Chuck Davies is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. Grounded. Ah, what the frick is going on, man? No, it's not going to help my stock. Darn it! What the frick? Now batting. George Adorno. Left fielder. George Adorno. All right. Move the stick into the bullseye. First things first. Here's a throw over. Ha, that's a different. Runner back easily. He's set. Here it comes. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Now the 0-1. Darn it, man. Well above the zone Not going well. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Now that's a nice pitch. He ran that in there about mid-90s and put it past. There we go. Good cutting action to that pitch. That's the first out of the inning. That's a nice job right there. Sitting him down with style. Speaking of which, style points might not matter in regular games, but in a showcase, anything that can put a shine on your performance can do nothing but improve your chances in the draft, and that's just what that. There we go. Nice edge. Decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Hit high in the air down the. Come on, get that boy. Yeah, hey, there we go. Is over near the line now as he makes oh, whacking it towards that side of the, of the field. Inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Dying At the eight. plate, Adrian Castillo. Yeah. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Two down now. 
Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so Ooh. now we'll see if he can change his approach. Oh, that was a tough up. pitch to hit. Another 0-2 home. Inside. Darn it. He might be trying to set him up here one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Ah! Ball two. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate distance. There we go. That retires the side, and that will do it. It's a run on two hits, one left. What team am I on? Oh, I think I'm on. No, I'm on the E. Eastern Prospects. Okay. All right, so we're winning at least. And he'll start out there half of the third, top of the order to Ah, man. Here to begin the inning, it's ball 1. This one's Come on. There we go. Comes up with it. Throw to first in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Digging in for his second at bat. Nick Murdo. All right, cut it time. Murder Ooh. chop foul over towards the dugout. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind All right, let's get him. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Oh, just a bit high that time. Oh. This for a ball. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0 2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. There we go. It was just a little out of the zone. Throw in time at first for route number two. Striding in once again, Sean Irwin. Oh, for one for him here in this one. Nice. That was a good spot. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Yeah, Matt, that's a great point. If this two hitter finds a way on, it really sets up the very good middle part of the order to do some damage after all. There we go. And two now. One ball. Two straight. Sky out. Let's go. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Oh, a fastball. Nice. And missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Pretty painless half of the Your inning. Attention, Alexis. All Sarah. right. The Relieved. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, that home run was the, the worst part of the game there. The eh, I guess it wasn't too bad. All right, return to the clubhouse. Gonna mute it here. There we go. Turn it up when the narrator comes up. All right, let's see how I did here. Ah, nice, a level up. Nice. Four strikeouts. Not it as well, this game. It's still okay. Alright. ...in scouting activities having wrapped up, all attention turns to the imminent main event, the MLB Draft. Yeah! Well, you've done all you can do, son. I'm proud of you. Hey, and Ejin approached me after the last game. I guess now we just see what happens at the draft. Eh, we'll ask about the agent. Players will now find themselves increasingly confronted with the off-the-field demands and distractions that accompany pro sports. That's no surprise. I expect that will be happening a lot now. You want me to look into it? Sure, his name is Daniel Romero with Double Barrel. Do you think we should? I'm good with handling stuff if you're comfortable. And eh, we'll, we'll give him his name. Having a trusted advisor to take the lead on such matters is a huge plus. Allowing a player to keep his mind where it should be. Like on finding out where will be the first stop on his road to the show. Okay, I'll make some calls. Where are you planning to be during the draft? I'll probably be at home watching it online. With my family, wherever I don't know, fishing. Eh, with my family. Okay. I got a mute. Alright. Fast forward to my pick when I get selected here. <clears throat> Uh, 
Yeah! Picked in the first round, baby. Nice! Yeah, White Sox. Okay. Huh. Okay. Alright, here we go. T-Rock, this is the GM of the Chicago White Sox. We just drafted you to come play for us. How's that sound? Sounds great. Holy cow, I'm going to play for the White Sox. To be honest, sir, I was expecting to get picked sooner. No, no, that was pretty good. 12, first round. That's not too bad. Good, I guess. I was hoping my favorite team was going to take me. Sounds good. Yeah, well, let's bring some enthusiasm into it. Many players will forever remember every detail of this conversation and moment. Terrific. We're happy we got you. I can't believe it. This is surreal. I'm, I'm so glad the wait is over. Just want to play some ball. Best pick you've ever made, I promise. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. That sounds good. Well, we believe in your talent. We're counting on you to work hard for us. Welcome to the club. I will work hard. Can't wait to start. Unreal. This is awesome. See you in the bigs. Thanks so much. I won't let you down. Uh, we'll work hard. Can't wait to start. In the days and weeks that follow, teams work to come to terms with the players they have drafted and get them signed. So the White Sox sent you an offer sheet. I'm pretty pleased with where it landed. Yeah. Spare me if you think it's fair. Let's sign. Yeah. I've done a lot of research and I'm confident the deal we're looking at is good value for your draft position. Is it a lot? I was actually thinking of playing in college first. That's all I need to hear. Thanks, coach. Let's sign. Eh, eh, we'll ask how much it is. With your rookie base salary, you won't live like a king, but you'll get by. There's a healthy bonus, too, but I'm going to strongly suggest you invest that for your future security. Good enough, as long as I can eat, sleep, and play ball. What about college ball and coming back to the draft? Eh, what can I, we're going to ask him that. A player unsure about signing at all might consider getting an education while working on his game and rolling the dice again in a future draft. Well, that is an option. It could improve your position next draft or hurt it. You know what? Yeah, yeah I always have to be happy you get draft first round. Well, I could always go, like, number one pick, but, you know. Let's go ahead and sign, Coach. I'm ready to go pro. Yeah, let's just start it out. In most cases, rookie contracts get done in a fairly straightforward manner. And with that, players and organizations alike are happy to have their team and get the season underway. Great. Congratulations, son. You're getting your shot. Stay focused and work hard. Sign with the Chicago White Sox. All right. Time to mute. Mute. There we go. All right, guys. Um, it's, I don't know. All right. I think appearance should be good here. Training and perks. League. So we're the Barons. All right. Pitching rotation. Okay. Alright, so I'll put in my training points, then we'll be good.